This is KNEB.TV weather from the KNEB Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. We're going to be dealing with partly cloudy skies, turning mostly cloudy as we go through the overnight hours into early tomorrow morning. Does look like we're going to be dealing with a few maybe sprinkles or snow showers. That's about it along this system as it pushes through this evening. It will be cooler tomorrow. But we warm up Saturday, turn downright warm Sunday and Monday. A very nice weekend is coming our way before it turns cooler and wetter by Tuesday. Yesterday, we hit 59 after a morning low of 26. Nothing additional in the rain gauge. We're down to just a couple of hundredths now above normal and three-tenths of an inch above normal for the year. Still well below normal in terms of moisture, and that continues to have uh, some drought conditions out there. Starting to see expanding drought conditions, especially in The central and eastern portions of Nebraska starting to actually see some extreme drought conditions pull up in those areas. Here closer to home, we're dealing with mainly moderate to severe drought conditions covering most all of western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming. 70 right now in Sterling and in North Platte. It's close to that in Scotts Bluff. 47, though. Look at that colder air just off to our east. 46 in Watertown, 48 in Sioux Falls. So cold conditions over there. We're dealing with temps that are mainly in the uh, 60s and 70s here across our region. A little cooler Lusk down in Cheyenne. Winds pretty gusty, north-northwest 20, 25, gusts 30, 35 miles an hour at times. And uh, no real wind chill to be concerned about with as mild as temps are out there. Getting on the bus tomorrow, we're going to be dealing with uh, some clouds around the region, temperatures in the 30s, and on the way home, it'll be partly cloudy, and temperatures in the 50s. Uh, Not going to be quite as windy tomorrow or as warm. So again, a few showers. This is along this fast-moving cold front from northwest to southeast across the area tonight. It pushes out by early morning tomorrow. We'll be left with a cooler day tomorrow. Looks like we're going to see temperatures overnight hold into the upper 20s and low to mid 30s. Now, tomorrow, we'll start the morning with some clouds around the region. By about lunchtime, you might see uh, some of those clouds start to dissipate and move out of here. And then by afternoon, we're going to be dealing with sunshine and a very nice uh, setup, uh, the teeing, if you would, up for the weekend. It's going to be very, very nice coming our way. Highs tomorrow going to be in the 50s. Uh, across the region, so about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than where we were today. Mostly cloudy, windy, especially early tonight, 36 for a low. Tomorrow, we're going to be dealing with partly cloudy, not as warm as today. Temperatures in the upper 50s, but look at us quickly rebound to near 70 by Saturday, near 80 by Sunday. Monday, maybe in the mid-80s. And then it comes crashing down. Look at Tuesday, some showers and wind, maybe mixing with snow late even, and temperatures back down to near 60, only in the 50s and breezy for Wednesday.